Hello, thank you for joining me today. We're reading through A Course in Miracles, the daily lessons, and today we're going to be less reading a focus lesson, What is the Second Coming? Christ's second coming, which is sure as God, is merely the correction of mistakes and the return of sanity. It is a part of the condition that restores the never lost and reestablishes what is forever and forever true. It is the invitation to God's word to take illusion's place, the willingness to let forgiveness rest upon all things without exception and without reserve. It is the all-inclusive nature of Christ's second coming that permits it to embrace the world and hold you safe within its gentle advent, which encompasses all living things with you. There is no need to release the second coming beings. Bring, sorry, there is no end to the release the second coming brings, as God's creation must be limitless. Forgiveness lights the second coming's way because it shines on everything as one and thus is oneness recognized at last. The second coming ends the lessons that the Holy Spirit teaches, making the way for the, law, for the last judgment in which learning ends in one last summary that will extend beyond itself and reaches up to God. The second coming is the time in which all minds are given to the hands of Christ to be returned to spirit in the name of true creation and the will of God. The second coming is one event in time which time itself cannot affect. For everyone who ever came to die or yet will come or who is present now is equally released from what he made. In this equality is Christ restored as one identity in which the sons of God acknowledge that they are all one. And God the Father smiles upon his Son, his one creation, and his only joy. Pray that the second coming will be soon, but do not rest with that. It needs your eyes and ears and hands and feet. It needs your voice. And most of all, it needs your willingness. Let us rejoice that we can do God's will and join together in this holy light. Behold, the Son of God is one in us, and we can reach our Father's love through him. I apologize for being so moved by this. I, it, I don't apologize for the feelings, but it is a little interfering with the reading. Um, but what strikes me here is, I think traditionally we have always uh, thought that the second coming meant Christ as a single representation of divinity would come again. And I really feel with this reading that it's each of us, it's each of us stepping in to who we are, to the divinity within us. And of all times in the world to need that, we need it now. We need it now. So I hope you have a great day with this lesson. This is a great focus lesson and I'm looking forward to the additional lessons that follow, the next 10 that follow in this, um, in this module. Thank you for being here today, and thank you for doing this work. It rests with each of us to be the second coming. Namaste, and much love. See you tomorrow. Or actually see you later today, because Lesson 301 uh, starts today as well. So see you in a minute.